journey with getting botched Botox a few months ago. So let's talk about it. I think it's really important as a skincare influencer and somebody who talks a lot about injectables and also my TikTok is joint with my dermatologist that we are really open and honest about the fact and transparent about the fact that things can sometimes go wrong. I spend a lot of time in Los Angeles and a lot of you, a lot of my followers are based in Los Angeles. So it was important to me um, when I was there a few months ago to really try to find an injector that I trusted as much as my New York City dermatologist, Dr. Claire Walensky. You know her from my other videos on YouTube that we've done together. So my girlfriends in Los Angeles, a few of them go to a place that they love. They highly recommended. I have seen before and after videos and pictures of their faces, Botox and fillers, and just absolutely beautiful work from this place and this specific injector. And when looking for a doctor, I really recommend word of mouth as the number one way to find somebody, especially for injections. You want somebody that your friend who looks amazing goes to and you can say, who's your injector? You look amazing, right? Uh, word of mouth is always great. So I really trust my girlfriends and I went to this uh, particular place for platysmal band Botox. And while I was there, the woman said, how about we do DAOs also? This is to help the pulling down that I get from the platysmal bands. And Dr. Claire does my DAO Botox um, often, so I didn't think too much about it. A few days later, my mouth was completely sideways, completely crooked. So I messaged the injector and I said, you know, my mouth looks like this. I sent pictures and a video and she said, oh, it's fine. It just happens when you inject the band sometime, give it a couple days. A couple weeks went by and my mouth was only getting worse. And you know, I don't have a normal job. I'm an actress and me getting work depends on a lot how, how I look because I'm sending in auditions all the time and I'm a comedian so I'm constantly laughing and smiling on uh, on tape and this really really messed me up um, and I'm still pretty messed up from it if you can see my mouth this is three months later my mouth is still sideways so anyway so I messaged this injector a few weeks after I sent pictures and videos again and I said you know, my, my dermatologist said that this happened from uh, you injected the DLI accidentally instead of the DAO. And she said, no, no, um, it's just from the bands, give it an, another day. So I sent all of these messages to Dr. Claire and she said, this is really scary. Uh, she said, either this injector does not know facial anatomy, A, or B, this injector is gaslighting you. And either way, those are things that um, you really don't want in an injector. So either she didn't know something was wrong or she knew she messed up and was trying to tell me that she didn't. This is something I've been really upset about and I was really wary to talk about. I've made multiple videos on TikTok about this, but with Dr. Claire, this is the first time I'm really talking about it alone by myself. The messages that I've gotten about this on TikTok have been incredibly cruel, a lot of them, like karma's a B, you deserved this for going to somebody other than Dr. Claire serves you right for going to somebody that's not your normal injector. All things that have just been a little painful to me, especially as I'm still going through this. My mouth is still wildly sideways, especially when I laugh and talk um, exaggerated. So this is hard for me to talk about, but I do think it's important to be transparent that things can go wrong. And again, I really want to stress that I didn't go to somebody other than Dr. Claire because I don't love and trust Dr. Claire. I went because as somebody who has a page that is all about education, I really wanted to be able to find somebody on the other side of the country that I could recommend just as much as I recommend my doctor. And I was really hopeful to have found that person and to have found that office. Unfortunately, not only did I not get that, but I got what I think probably is gaslit, which is a horrible way to feel um, from a provider. But thankfully, I do have Dr. Claire 
my dermatologist. Unfortunately, she can't fix this. This is something that time just has to take its course. I am on week 11 right now. I'm really curious to see how long this will last and I 100% will never be going to somebody other than Dr. Claire again for fillers. For Botox, there is one other woman in New York City that I trust tremendously. It's Dr. Carreri at Trifecta Med Spa. So those are the two people I, of course, recommend in New York City, but I don't think I'll try an LA injector again, which is sad because I spend half of my time in Los Angeles and I was really hopeful to have somebody to recommend to you. So I really just wanted to start this discussion and let me know is if any of you, have you ever had this happen before? Have you ever went somewhere and felt gaslit or not heard from a provider or an injector? Or did you feel like you were in unsafe hands? Have you ever had a Botox mishap before or a filler mishap, an occlusion? Let me know, I really want to continue on with this discussion even though a lot of my comments have been so mean about the fact that this happened to me i know that this happens often things like this happen even at wildly well respected places you know i wouldn't just go to anybody i went to one of the top top places in los angeles this can happen and it's scary and i think that we should talk about it so this is my little 11 week update on my Botox mishap and I'll continue to keep you updated. I hope it wears off uh, <laughs> by month four is my goal. So um, I will see you guys next time. Bye.